Hey everyone, happy Easter. I'm Miss Kate, and we are so excited that you've decided to join us while we celebrate the most important event ever. Now, before we get into why Easter is so important, we want you to, we want to know who's here with us today. So, let's kick it off with our little ones. Okay, so if you are one or two years old, can you hop like a bunny? Great! Now, if you are one of my pre-K friends and you're three to five years old, can you roll like an Easter egg? Awesome! Now, how about if you're in kindergarten or first grade? Can you bloom like a flower? Awesome! How about all my second and third graders? Can you guys fly around like butterflies? <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, where are all my fourth and fifth graders? Can you guys pretend to hmm, make it rain? Great, I think we're all here. Now, Easter is about more than chocolate and eggs and vacuuming up fake grass for weeks. What happened on Easter is actual history. It's a true story documented by many witnesses. It's the time that God made a bridge between himself and us. And it means that no matter what's happening right now, we can have peace and look forward to what happens next with great confidence. So let's stand and thank God by worshiping him for all that he's done for us. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I know someone who makes me happy. I know someone who makes me dance. He's the reason my feet are moving. He's the reason I'm gonna lift my hands and clap, clap, clap to the sound. Jump, yeah. jump up and down. Spin, spin, spin all around. I'm singing it out. One, two, three, four. Jesus is the very best friend. We all know that Easter is about the time that something very important got rolled away. Oh, okay, I like this. Now we're actually moving on to the events and meaning of Easter. You bet I am. Of course, I'm talking about the rolling of... What? The Easter egg roll! Uh-huh. Kate, 
The Easter egg roll is a national tradition. In fact, the White House has held an Easter egg roll annually every year since 1878. We have Rutherford B. Hayes to thank for that one. Uh-huh, okay. I'm gonna just step out of this. Okay, I've got my two highly skilled contestants here and they are ready to play my own version of an Easter egg roll. So this is how the game is played. We have an extreme Easter egg roll ramp right here. And when I say go, you'll have exactly one minute to roll as many eggs as you can down the ramp and into the slots below. There are different point values at the bottom. So try to be strategic with where you place your eggs. And this won't be easy because eggs are not round. They are egg-shaped, or as they say in geometry, egg-shaped. <laughs> it sounds easy, right? Contestant number one, are you ready? Oh, yeah. Audience, are you ready? Then get ready to play in three, two, one, go. Okay, contestant number two, are you ready? Yes. Okay, we're gonna put 60 seconds on the clock. Ready, three, two, one, go. Congratulations, Hannah. You brought it home with 140,000 points. <laughs> Congratulations again, Hannah. Well, we are all winners here. A truer statement has never been made, Elise. Kate, did I deliver Easter or did I deliver Easter? You delivered something, that's for sure. Actually, Easter is all about things starting out broken and messy, then putting them back together. So I think this is a great place for us to pause and... <gasps> that makes me think of a game. Oh no. Yes, chocolate bunnies. Bunnies? I know they're pretty common this time of year, but honestly, Easter is about perfect lead-in. You can leave now. I, you know what? You're right. In the immortal words of Dean Martin, every bunny loves somebody sometime. And <laughs> are you guys gonna be able to hold it together? <clears throat> okay. As you see here, we are gonna play a game with an old familiar symbol this time of year. It's time to play Bust Your Bunny. This is the way we play this game. You see, we've got two chocolate bunnies here. I know, I know, delicious, but we will take it to a whole nother level. We're getting back to the old school way of looking at Easter. And I'm not talking about that stomach ache that comes along after having too many jelly beans. No, no, no. Today is all about seeing what is broken and celebrating it when it's fixed, right? Well, if you notice, these bunnies aren't broken. So I've got my two volunteers here. Now, we could have you eat these bunnies, but that wouldn't be fair, you know, to everyone else out there who's watching, wouldn't it? Or we could melt them down and form some wonderful chocolate sculpture out of the goo, but 
that would take time and a fire and we'd have to wait for the sculpture to cool off and then by then it'd be the middle of summer and they just melt anyway. So in the spirit of little bunny foo foo, we will smash these rascally rabbits. You heard me. You will take a large wooden spoon and wallop on that bunny, but you only get one whack. So make it a good one. Each of you will hit their chocolate bunny one time at the same time. I'm gonna say ready, set, go. And then the whole audience is gonna count with me. One, two, three, smash. You got it? Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Spoon's ready. Hold them high. Remember, I'm gonna say ready, set, go, and then we're gonna count with the audience, okay? Ready, set, go. One, two, three, smash! <laughs> Oh my goodness, those yeah. bunnies are smashed to smithereens. Great job. Happy anymore. Now, we are not done yet. Do you know why? Because we haven't even started yet. If there's any packaging left on your bunnies, which there is, you're gonna have to take it off because it's time to fix it, right? You can't fix something without breaking it first. So each of you are gonna have 60 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> to <laughs> <laughs> to put your little buddies back together again. They're gonna be as good as new, or at least as good as you can make them, no you know, with 60 seconds and only frosting and a spatula. So, prepare yourselves, get ready. <laughs> Grab your frosting, we're gonna set a timer for 60 seconds on the clock. Okay, are you ready? Set, 60 seconds, go! Clock is ticking down. Oh, you better get these me. bunnies put I'm, together. I'm already done. Mm -hmm. He's done. Oh. Five, four, three, two, one, and time is up. Spatula's down. Let's see what you've done here. Wow. Oh my goodness. I mean, I think that's a foot in his ear, but I'm not really wow. sure. Yeah, man. You, I mean, you've got a shape oh. to it. <laughs> Each of you have done a job that I don't think we will ever forget. I'll also be very afraid to ever eat a chocolate bunny again, so I'm gonna give you guys my entire chocolate bunny collection. You each get one chocolate bunny as hey. long as you promise not to smash it, okay? okay? So you smashed bunnies, then rebuilt them? Uh, mostly. Well, that's actually a good setup for Easter. It is? I mean, I mean, of course it is, because chocolate. No, why don't you take a break from all that chocolate while we focus on the actual story of Easter? Okay, but I'll just be in the back if you need me. Oh, that's a comforting thought. <laughs> I think it's time to end that strange bunny smashing. This is the day to set that aside. Remember the most amazing thing that has ever happened on planet Earth. This day changes everything for everyone. It's about brokenness and restoration. It's about more love than we can ever comprehend. So I thought today would be a perfect time to hear the story all over again. Like really hear it the way it sounded, like if you were right there. So let's start our story today from the very beginning. Let's listen in. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you.
fly, fly, little kite. Whoosh! Through the air, little kite. Oh, hi there, friends. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Zoe, and I'm so happy to see you today. Do you know what this is? That's right, it's a kite. Look at all these colors. What color do you see? That's right, it's red, orange, yellow, blue, and purple. I love it. I flew it outside with my dad yesterday. It was such a beautiful and sunny day with just a little wind. So my dad said, Hey Zoe, it's a perfect day to go to the park and fly a kite. And I said, let's do it. So there we were flying the kite when suddenly the wind started getting stronger and stronger and my kite went higher and higher. I fought it and thrown away. But then my dad told me to pull on the string. And when I did, my kite came back. My kite went way, way, way up and up and up and then came back. What a great day. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello there, Zoe. Who? Who? Flying a kite, are you? Hi, Ollie. Yep, I sure am. My kite went way, way up into the clouds, and then I pulled the string, and it came back. I was so happy. Your kite coming back to you is great. It's true. But I have an even better story for you. Just listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Easter to you. Oh, hi friends. Happy Easter to you. I'm Justin the Mailman and I am so glad you're here. Today is a day for celebrating and I want to tell you all about it. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Look, do you know what that is? A heart, that's right! Because the true story of Easter begins with God's love for us. Everybody hold your hands up way up high in the air. Hold them up high. Because the Bible teaches us God's love for us goes higher than the highest mountain, higher than a kite can fly. Now, stretch your hands out wide like this. Because God's love for us is bigger and wider than we can even hold. Now, put your hands down deep to the ground because God's love for us goes deeper than the deepest ocean. He loves us so much. God loves us so much that he gave us his son, Jesus, to be our friend forever. But first, something sad had to happen. One night, when Jesus was having dinner with his good, good friends, he told them he would have to go away, but he told them he would come back. After dinner, Jesus went to a garden to pray. While he was there, some angry people came and took Jesus away. They hurt Jesus and he died. It was very sad. All of Jesus' friends were so sad. Can you show me your sad face? Yes. They were so sad. They put Jesus' body in a tomb with a big stone in front of it. Three sad days went by. Can you count them with me? Day one. Day two. Day three. Look! On the third day, when some of Jesus' friends went to the tomb, they saw that the stone had been rolled away and Jesus was not there. Then came the good news. Jesus came back just like he said he would. Everyone was so happy. Can you show me your happy face? Yes, Jesus is alive. It was amazing, incredible. Do your happy celebration dance. <laughs> Yes, Jesus is alive. We are celebrating today because it's Easter and Jesus is alive and he wants to be our friend forever. Oh, 
Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Happy Easter. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus went away and came back, just like he said he would. Ho, ho. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow, that was such a great story. Jesus said he was going away, and he would come back. And he did. Jesus is alive, and he wants to be our friend forever. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Hey! It's windy outside. Time to go fly my kite. I'll see you next time. Bye! That was awesome. Jesus came and lived a perfect life. He died for you and for me. He, oh, so what do we do now? Well, we just keep celebrating Easter. I thought that's what we just did. Yeah, but Easter is something that we can keep celebrating like every single day of our lives. It's the greatest thing that has ever happened. Jesus came back to life so that we could all have life forever. But what about the people that don't know Jesus yet? You know what, that's a good point. If you don't know Jesus, you can pray and ask Jesus into your heart. You could ask him to walk with you and lead you in your life. That's so cool. Do you think we should do that like right now? Hmm. Yes. So if you believe in Jesus and you wanna ask Jesus into your heart and to be the Lord of your life, then why don't you pray this along with me? Uh, dear Lord, uh, we just love you. And dear Lord, right now, we just wanna say that we believe Jesus, that you are God's son and that you died for us and you rose from the grave and that you are living right now. So we just praise you for forgiving our sins and just making us clean. Lord, I pray that you would just be leading us uh, just in our everyday lives to walk with you, to be more like you and just to love others for you, Lord. So I just thank you for every single person right now that is just giving their life to you, Lord. We praise you. Amen. Amen. If you just asked Jesus into your heart, that is a great reason to celebrate. If you asked him into your heart, we want to know. So tell me. Now, I'm waiting. Why aren't you saying anything? Kate, how can we do this? <sighs> yes, well, we'd love to hear from you. So tell your par parents to reach out to us through one of the ways below. And we're so glad that you've joined us today. Happy Easter! Easter.